Why have they got their hands on their heads? Okay, that's a good point. Listen. Mankind, mm. we what happens is Aki, we think that the cure is in the one reciting the Quran, mm. we think the cure is in the one that's making the dua. Yeah. We think so. This is dangerous ground because what's happening is yeah. they've, they're holding their heads. Aki, I don't know if that's from the Sunnah. From a juvenile, when my clothes had holes in them, and my afro was picky to them 90s, Moschino and Versace, no laces in Arachis, new millennium. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends Welcome to another video um, Before I start, I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The most merciful, the most just All praises, glory and gratitude belong to him for the works that we do um, I'm here with Muhammad Hijab Assalamu alaikum How are you, you right? You're right yeah. uh, Wake up please, because you know every time you do a video with me You're flipping, sleeping And I see it as an insult <laughs> to someone like me with the subscriber base that I have <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, let's, let's congratulate you for having uh, What is it, half a million subscribers now? This man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you were gonna shake my hand. I thought you were gonna shake my. Yeah, yeah, just wake up, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. You know, in the last video, she was, he was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so Ram says today we're gonna be reacting to something important. So uh, we came together actually. Well, Mohammed did just message me on WhatsApp. He said I'm going to see Brother Zishan as usual. He's a regular here. I'm not. And I thought you know, but it'd be nice to see the brothers. It's been a long time. Came here. I got some nice baklava. And we had some tea over it. But and it's always it's always good to have the champ chump connection. Yes. <laughs> he shines the champ and I'm the chump. Yes. <laughs> Nam. <laughs> so in my country they say eat sweet and talk sweet. I personally believe we're not here to mock anybody, we're not here to talk about specific groups or sex. We just genuinely want to understand what's the logic behind what's about to happen. Yeah. So he's called the choo choo peer, if I'm not mistaken, or choop choop. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Why have they got their hands on their heads? Okay, that's a good point. So, yeah. they've got... Okay, they've got their hands like this, yeah? Yeah. From what I was told, correct me uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the true, true, the thing that he's doing, I don't know if it's a vibration, I don't know if it's a dua, I don't know if it's the wind, but it's to receive it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Some kind of ritual. Like, I don't know. They're all doing it. Listen. This guy's definition of destroying the whole disclaimer of when they hit the ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but let's carry on, yeah? <laughs> now, <coughs> guys, I'm so sorry, yeah? If they're there watching this and thinking that what, he, what will just happen now contradicts our statement, it doesn't, because when I hit the mock, but it's funny. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Like <laughs> genuinely, brother says, "Well, I." It's ridiculous. And you know what's really funny? You know what's really funny? This is not in Pakistan. This is not in um, South. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not India. It's not Bangladesh. <laughs> Enough, bro, man. This guy's doing chuchu. You're doing chuchu in my face, bro. <laughs> this is in North uh, uh, UK. It's north of uh, the <laughs> guys. This is north of the country. Yeah, okay. This is happening in Britain. 
in the West <laughs> in 2018 or 2019, guys. Can you believe that a group of people, I don't even know if they paid to go to the hall yet. Yeah? I, I won't be surprised if they uh, had tickets being sold, yeah? And you've got people living in Britain in the West. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to say the West is some place enlightenment. I'm just saying, come on. And they've got their hands on their head. These are uncles, aunties, young people, yeah? Desperate people there. And this guy is there <laughs> rolling his test feet and doing, and doing chew, chew, yeah? Well, like, look, let's carry on watching. Let's carry on watching. <laughs> look, okay, now look, he's doing some kind of action. I, I don't know if that's from the sunnah of getting the beats together, stopping, blowing. Okay, let's suppose argument's sake. Yeah? He's doing it, he's reading the dua and he's blowing it on them. Okay. The, the question that needs to be asked is the following, yeah? Because with these kind of things, when it happens, you need to understand as human beings, we are weak. Okay, now in my culture, in my family, like I said before, they what they do is um, they get coffee, they drink it, mm. they turn it upside down, wait for a little bit, turn it and see animals and say, oh, you're going to get married, that's going to happen, blah, 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 yeah? Now, most of the time, there is a saying in Turkish, yeah? They say, don't believe, it's called fal. Fal means fortune telling. Don't believe in the fortune telling, but don't go without it. So I'll repeat again. Don't believe the fortune telling, but don't go without it. Now, what that means is, in a sense, don't believe it, but there's no harm in looking at it. Now, what happens is, let's put ourselves in a situation, okay? Because in this situation, you're either going to laugh or cry at the matter. I'll be honest, it's, 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 it's a crying matter or a laughing matter. We're laughing because... It's sad to see the state of desperate people who might be, have marriage issues, family might have disease, or whatever it may be, and they're in a desperate situation. Now, if you go to this guy, and we know, for example, from the Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there are jinns who go to the certain heavens and try to get information. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say like in the Quran about those jinns that do that? Do they gather that information? Yeah, uh, the, I, I, would say, I would say that these are two separate issues, though. Like, with this... Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any fortune telling going on. No, but they can be connected. So, okay, let me put it like this, yeah? yeah. Innocent boy who wants, innocent, let's say a sister, yeah? Wants to get married, not working, and you know in today's time, mm. black magic, sihir, someone did this, someone did that, mm. da, 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 da. Mm. She goes to this event. Yeah. And in this event, for example, let's suppose... What, her, this particular event? Let's, let's suppose any particular event. Yeah, yeah. Any particular event she goes to. Yeah. Or let's suppose she has a pain. I'm just giving arguments. Yeah, like, yeah? yeah. After she attends this event, it stops. Mm -hmm. What will be the first thing that comes to her mind? What should she be thinking? She'll think that she'll actually she may attribute that to 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 the thing that happened in the event. Thank you. Now, if she ascribes that to this person, mm -hmm. and there's a reoccurrence of things happening, positive things, whenever she visits this specific period or this specific event or this, let's say wherever they are, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about all aspects of life: Christians, Hindus, whoever does this kind of mm -hmm. stuff, yeah. If they attend that, where is their iman growing towards? Towards Allah or the individual or the act that's been done. Well, the act could be could be attributed, but remember there could be sunnah acts and there could be yes. acts which are not sunnah, exactly. which I think is where the crux of this discussion should be. Exactly. Because the the question here is is what's happening here in line with the sunnah according to any of the madhab? Mm. If, uh, like if if someone is a Hanafi or if someone is a Shafi, if some Maliki or Hanbali if from the four sco schools of Sunni orthodoxy. Yeah. Is this what's going on? Is this detailed in any of the books of fiqh that I should be, mm. that I should look into? I'll be interested to find yeah. such a thing. Yeah. If there is, if there's a narration on such a pr prayer of blowing, and I would like to see such a narration mm. uh, authentically transmitted from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. But that is why it's important to look at uh, the Sunnah through that lens. Okay, I mean, uh, there is going to be difference of opinion, but there are things which are outside of the pale of that difference of opinion. That's why it's very important to always... Uh, I mean, you don't want to go into extremes with this, but there is a hadith which says that the Prophet Muhammad said, Man ahdatha fi deenina hadha ma laysa minhu Whoever invents into this religion or to this affair of ours, which is not part of it, then it's rejected. Okay? Yeah. Like the du'a that he made at the end, look, I haven't got a problem du'a is... There's a hadith that says mm. it's, it's, the, it's the bone marrow of, of if, if you like the crux of worship And that's a weak hadith And there's a bad hadith It's the actual ibadah itself So this is a beneficial thing that's taking mm. place But what's preceded it Is simply something which is unprecedented But what if, okay look one second Hijab, Even if we said there's evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah For example when it comes to a specific Let's say somebody making dua for you yeah. Mm. When it's done in a situation where there's a mass gathering If there's money involved 
and there's a issue or a, a, a gray area where individuals in there, they might be ignorant. Yeah. yeah and, I don't and, know if there was money involved in that particular no, no, no. game. As far as I know, I was told it was, but I, I don't know. Yeah. I, mm. I was told that there was money involved. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this person goes around the country. Right. So now I'm saying when money is involved, mm. when people's emotions are involved, <laughs> when desperation is involved. And now mm. the point is this is, let's say it's in the Quran. Of course, someone can make dua for you. Yeah. Now, if a person is like Rukia, yeah. what happens is, Anyone could do Rukia. Bro, you can read Quran on yourself. You can get someone to read it. Mm -hmm. But why do we go to Raqis? Why? Mm. And doesn't certain Raqis, which we know which happened two years ago, yes. manipulating the situation? Some do. It, Some do, not, not no, all no, of them. No, yeah. Of course not. Yeah. Of course not. Mm. The point is this, that what happens is, as human beings, we're created weak. Allah says we created mankind mm. weak. What happens is, Aki, we think that the cure is in the one reciting the Quran. Mm. We think the cure is in the one that's making the dua. Yeah. We think so. This is dangerous ground because what's happening is yeah. they're they're holding their heads. Aki, I don't know if that's from the Sunnah. It's Some, not from the Sunnah. Okay, someone. I, I, I mean, the there's doing, there's nothing in the Sunnah okay. that's, I've, that I've. I'd like to once again see the narrations. Okay, so now yeah. with these things, Aki, there's extremes which you've done a video about on your channel where there's a mm. naked peer, mm. and he's got people. Touching him, or you've got another person, they're, they're bowing down to him. Yes. Which you can check that in Muhammad, brother Muhammad, Jaff's channel, brother and sisters. Mm. This is dangerous. And what we're just seeing is look, put us to a side. Yeah. yeah. You can call us Wahhabi, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Logically, brothers and sisters. No, it's not, I don't even think this is a matter of Wahhabism. Exactly. Or, no, I'm saying, look, look, put, put us to or a side. Salafism or exactly. Diobandism. I think this is just about <coughs> Sunni orthodoxy. Exactly. And going back. To Thank the you. form of Ahab. Exactly. So I would say, what advice would you give to someone? Because look, I've been in situations, maybe you've been in situations where actually I was in desperation. Mm. There's been situations where I thought I have no way to go out. And I'm speaking to brothers who have been in similar situations where they would end up, because they're in such a desperate situation, they would go to individuals and these individuals would say, okay, take this, dig this there, put this to this tree, yeah. read this. And because you're in <coughs> such a desperate situation, you're not there. It's like mm. you're, a, you're a person that's under the influence. And what happens, brothers and sisters, in this desperate situation is the very moment that your tawheed should really shine and your trust in Allah should really, really, your tawakkul in Allah should be seen. What happens is in this desperate situation, people tend to go to these people. And I know a brother who said, I paid thousands of pounds to these people who have told me, go to the air, do mm. this, you'll get this person back or da da da. Mm. What advice would you give to people <clears throat> like that in those desperate situations yeah. where they're thinking, you know what? Because as human beings, Aki, we mm. like to see. That's why a lot of people are inclined to shirk. Why? Because it's the object that they can see, touch and feel. Yes. With Allah and the reward for Jannah is why? Because you believe in him when you don't see him. And just to be clear, we're not saying this shirk took place in that no, video. No, we didn't. We didn't. Yeah. We're, just, we're just saying I, I'm, I don't think there's evidence that any shirk took place in that video. Unless yeah, something yeah, yeah, has yeah. been said in Urdu that I don't know what's being yeah. said. No, yeah. I was talking about your channel. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to make that clear, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But uh, I think what... What advice would you give? I would say, look, there's two things you need to be very clear of. That there's in Islam... There is a direct relationship between man, a woman on the one hand, and God on the other, right? Uh, the Quran says, Iyakan awudu, Iyakan astan. You alone we worship, and you alone we ask for help. And that is in the second person. So you're speaking to Allah directly. And this is something we have to recite 17 times a day at least, which means that we have a direct connection with Allah. And you can make dua to Allah yourself. You don't need any intermediary or anybody or any human being or any wise person or guru or sheikh or peer or whatever it is to do that. You can make dua to Allah yourself. Number two is make sure that what you're doing, the action that you are performing is in line with Sunni orthodoxy as per any of the madhahib. No one, I'm not saying, oh, you, ha you have to be this madhahib yeah, yeah. or that madhahib or follow this sheikh or that sheikh. Any of the madhahib which are uh, bona fide and legitimized in the Sun Sunni school of thought, you follow those, yeah, but make sure that you're not going overboard because mm -hmm. if it's something which has not been done or spoken of by the scholars of Islam for a thousand four hundred years uh, and it's just something that you're doing, right, gimmicky, it's gimmicky and it's new and it's innovative, yeah. then it has nothing to do with the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mm -hmm. and in fact it is an invention or an innovation into the religion and mm -hmm. so yeah, there is something called bid'ah in the religion. Mm -hmm. The Prophet Muhammad would say this every time he would he would ascend the pulpit, uh, the minbar. He would mention the bid'ah, which is an in innovation into the religion. So we don't want to fall into those innovations, okay? But we don't want to label everything and everybody as innovators and yeah. everything as innovation. Well, but we don't want to fall into the innovation exactly. as well. These, a... these kind of actions give birth to the other extreme. Yeah. You know, so brothers and sisters, look, I'll tell you personally, I'll talk from personal experience. I've been in situations, I've needed specific du'as to be answered. 
And I had I could have easily, brothers and sisters, go and be like, okay, yeah, let me go to this period because you're in a vulnerable position. I've been there. I know friends around me who've been in that situation. But having firmness, sticking to Tawheed, knowing that Allah, look, you need to understand something. The one who's created the heavens and the earth, Wallahi, look, I'm telling you, those who are who have marriage problems, those who want to get married, those who have illnesses, those who have whatever problems you have, the one who's created the heavens and the earth, is it, do you really think it's hard for Allah to answer your dua? No, it's mm. not. But Allah's going to put you through certain tests and trials. Wallahi, Allah will answer your dua. Sometimes question yourself, is it my sins? Is it certain things I'm doing? Question yourself sometimes. And this is the things that I did, I reflected. Okay, my dua is not being answered. Can Allah answer my dua? Yes. Does he exist? Yes. The question is, there is something that I'm missing here. Do not spoil that by going to people, whoever they may be, whichever group they're from, mm. and think, okay, this person can help me. Never. What advice I'm giving to you from personal experiences, Wallahi, Allah answered my dua. Wallahi, billahi, wutillahi, Allah answered my dua, and I find the faults in myself, and fix those faults, and once you fix your affairs with Allah, Allah will fix your affairs with the people. So a reminder from this video, besides the whole thing that we've, think it's wrong is the fact that have trust in Allah you can worship him alone you don't need to go to some uh, Christian priest and confess your sins you don't need to go to uh, some yeah. rabbi and please, please and this is a good point because just on this like especially where money is involved in yes. the equation this was one of the main reasons Protestantism in the in the 16th century actually became very popular. Really? Yeah, but there's things called indulgences that um, mm -hmm. Catholic priests would uh, do. So people would go to Catholic priests mm -hmm. and they would pay them money to basically forgive their sins and so on. And this actually continues to this day. This, these so-called indulgences, it continues to this day. Yeah. And that was one of the th points that Protestant reformers said, look at what corruption is going on in the, in the church, which made people uh, mm -hmm. leave... Catholicism and not only this but mm. uh, in the modern age it's making uh, Catholics leave religion altogether and this is what the prophet said and it's very important he told us that you will follow the the path of the Jews and the Christians you know uh, even so that if you go in if a lizard go, goes into a hole you go into it uh, like the lizard mm. in other words we are going to follow the the destructive path of the previous dispensations and what I'm saying to you guys is that this is clearly, um, if not religious fraud, fraud, mm. if you want to put it that way, or mm. it's a scandal really in the religious community of Islam. Yeah. It will at least lead to that if it's not that itself. Exactly. You know, so you know when it comes to money, people t come over here, and I'm not saying everything that's a religious service should shouldn't be should be free. That's yeah. not true either. That's not true. 100%. If someone's teaching Quran, um, we're not saying that they shouldn't yeah. be able to charge for that. Or Rukhya even. Yeah. We're not saying there's no situation where money should be exchanged. Or hijab or any of, of those things. Mm -hmm. Teaching. Yeah. But what we are saying is that if someone claims to give you curing ability, that's only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Quran is a shifa, is a cure itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, The Quran is it calls itself a shifa, which is a cure. Exactly. And your connection of Allah is direct. You don't require any human being on the face of the earth in order to to trespass in order to to go through as an intermediary to get to allah exactly promises will end on that no inshallah do not forget to check my manager's video on a, a naked pair uh, and i will find out why he's naked um till next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh